Let's just get right into um, yeah, we're just what these white people are doing. What are white people doing? This week, nothing good. They're shooting. All made you look. They're all, they're shooting. They won't, they, they love shooting. Um, and uh, it is very depressing. It's more depressing than anything to me because it's so redundant. I, I'm just fatigued. I'm like, I don't, I've thought all the thoughts already. Right. I've thought all the thoughts that you can have in, it's like if your mom kept dying. <laughs> It's like, I know, yeah, I'm fucked up. My mom died. And then she dies again three weeks later. You're like, right. fucking, what? <laughs> well, how'd my mom die again? <laughs> we didn't... We didn't figure this we out. We didn't figure out how to not make my mom die. It is like Groundhog Day, but it's 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 bad. Yeah. Uh, and that would actually be a good action movie. Uh, if she, if the, Groundhog Day, but oh. they have to thwart the uh, shooter. Okay. Second. I would, you'd that's kind of like The Edge of Tomorrow, the Tom Cruise movie. Um, with Emily Blunt, it's a it's a good it's a very good movie. Oh, okay. Uh, they fucked up the title because Edge of Tomorrow just yeah. sounds like a fake movie. It sounds like um, Final Fantasy or something. You know what's a funny Neil Brennan anecdote that uh uh what was the name of the Will Smith movie that he that came out like two Christmases ago? What was it about? Just one of those the like, Netflix one. No, it was one where he has to write letters to emotions. Um, Did it start with an L? Maybe. Leonard or something? No. Uh, yeah. You're thinking of I'm Legend. Close. <laughs> no, that's not what um, uh, the fuck was it called? Collateral Beauty. And the first time I met him was on the set. And he's like, there's a movie called Collateral Beauty. I go, that sounds like a fake name for a movie. And I could tell <laughs> I hurt his feelings, but it, it was. It does sound, it does like, sound like a movie a in a movie. movie. And he should have not done it. But uh, it, look, we know that now. Uh, <laughs> now it's obvious. He's going to uh, take away the camera. So cameras, I don't Neil. know what to do uh, as a person. I wrote on Twitter yesterday that clearly we're not doing enough. Just that's very clear as people. We're not doing enough. Like there's something we should be doing and we're not doing it. We're, we're all basically waiting for, we go, Congress, you do it. But it's like hiring a plumber and the water keeps rising. And it's like, dude, are you going to do anything? Like someone needs or to you're, do something. Because you're going to drown if you don't do something. But I hired a plumber. So... I mean, can we just focus on how fucked up the plumber is? Right. It's it, Yeah, you're right. The plumber sucks. Yes, we all agree. We, we hire it. the wrong plumbers. But now it's your fucking problem. Yes. And, and we all know the reason we're all so quick to blame Congress is because we know that doing anything would be a fucking pain in our asses. Right. And it would be inconvenient and it would require travel and phone calls and canvassing. And it wouldn't even be money. People go give money. It's fun. Money's not going to help. Um, at this point, you just have to, you have to do like on the, basically like a revolution. There are organizations that are com combating this. Of course. I'm not saying that there are no, no, no I organizations. Know you know. I'm just saying that there are people doing things, but we need an immediate, something more immediate. Well, know, the immediate thing, I, couldn't I mean, tell you I don't. Either. Let's say again. I'm saying, I, I I read an article of this organization. I don't even remember the. You know what I mean? Every it's town. Slow. No, it's not every town. It's um, it is like uh, I'll be able to think of it in a second. I Once just don't we go want, off the air. <laughs> basically, after I Google it. No, I just don't want it to be like dead air. But it doesn't have like there's no real immediate action. It's like yeah, because it's the burn. wheels of 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 you know justice or congress or it's like obama said like the government's like a big ship and yeah. you can't just like Mur! yeah it's exactly like, it has to be like mm. what i always want to ask the gun people is like so if you if they and people go do you want to take my guns i don't want to take your guns i want to take your assault rifles do you understand why and then you go well, you don't even know what an assault rifle is i can guess Right. Within, if it, like, the kid who, the AR kid 15. in Dayton was dead in 60 seconds and he'd already killed eight people. That, that's not a great ratio. Right. The cops got there 
an Olymp good guy with a gun got there in 60 seconds and and eight people died including his sister which i don't know yes, nine people it was nine yeah um yeah inc i wasn't counting his sister i'm kidding uh, <laughs> <laughs> including his sister which is insane like i don't know if that was a mistake or if that was there's a story out there that i don't it's not com you know who knows right now because it just happened yeah. but I don't, this seems a little too coincidental. That his Perfect. sister was there? No, no, that, the reason why he's mad at his sister, I read is that she's dating a black guy, but I don't no. know, Snopes. That's, she's Snopes dating one of the uh, Jesse Smollett, uh, <laughs> Jesse Smollett's uh, MAGA attackers. It seems a little MAGA too, attackers. you know, he's already racist, it's fine. Well, no, apparently he's not racist. Apparently he's uh, oh, I, super, I'm, super like Antifa. I'm getting them confused. That's how mm -hmm. many have happened. Mm -hmm. Who had the manifesto? Dayton. I don't. Who did Mario Lopez shoot up <laughs> extra? Is that what happened? Now, did Louie shoot up a school? <laughs> Let's just start I'm all so the I'm so confused. There's Uber too drivers many news stories. Are shooting, and I am confused. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. They, there's not. Trevor had a good thing yesterday. It was very like Trevor's like a really good. Trevor's like fucking presidential he's very good in times of crisis he's just re because he's such a temperate person he just doesn't lose his temper no. he doesn't he he's just very like i just i was thinking and right it's so considered and 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 statesman like like he should just stop being a comedian at a certain point because he's more useful as a as a leader yeah 100 percent um Oh, but what did you Sweet. but yeah i don't know what to say anymore it's like all right so they lose so gun people so i want your your assault rifles right and uh and in your mind you'll lose but i'll lose my gun these people are losing their lives dude yeah. family members are losing moms dads brothers sisters again i'm not saying anything with this but like do you how important is this argument even i the most stubborn motherfucker on the planet the king king of the cock blockers the battle axe would go you know what that's too many we got it you got to do something right we gotta stop them uh, have you ever been to a gun range yes one time and i did not like it did you like it I, I know a lot of people that do like it i it was interesting i did not like it it scared me because i felt like at any moment someone could just turn around yeah and, they could and end my life yep that was a little scary, but the it's kick... frowned upon, but it happened. <laughs> I did. I shot a shotgun. It was interesting how many when I was there, they were showing all the guns. How many references I remembered from gangster rap music? Of I'm course, like, a Ruger, Desert okay. Eagle. Is that Sawed you? Off. Sawed off shotgun. So they spray. I yeah. It all made so much more sense. Yeah. Um, shooting a shotgun is the kick. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, it, it's crazy. It's crazy That's for me. That's what creeped me out about it. I what creeped me out about it was how lethal they were. So palpably They're lethal. So powerful. Like it felt dangerous to hold it and right. shoot it. Like the kick is will bruise you. The kick, I got a bruise, and that's we're not talking about AR-15s or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, AR-15s are what's in a like a sheriff expedition. You know the big yeah. ones. They have them. I don't think we should have. I just don't think we weapons need of war is what they're is what they're referred to as. They're weapons just weapons of war. Of war. Oh. They are they're not they're you're not hunting. Yeah, exactly. You don't need. Um, you're not hunting with them. But I will say, in these towns, especially places in the South and in the Midwest, where gun laws are way more lenient, they're very strict. They're the strictest in California, I think. But. Back in the day, I mean, people were are saying, you know, we used to go to school with rifles in our bag. In and it wasn't no one would think about shooting up the school in like Kentucky and. Oh uh, well, they used to have like uh, marksmanship at school. That was I, part of the thing. So part of it is yes, it, you are uh, a lot of these assault rifles are very accessible and gun technology. I mean, we specialize in it in America, but there is something going on mentally that. There are two. I'm not saying mental health, by the way. No, no, no. There, I hope you don't. No, I. Wait a minute. It, it, it's a mental health problem. I mean, it's a uh, mental health problem. I'm not saying these yeah. particular. I'm not blaming. No, you can't blame you know, video games or any whatever. It's it's. It's just a mindset. Here's what's happening know? to me. Here's one of the explanations. There are too many people, 
right? Okay. Just in the world. Remember, uh, you don't know, but the NBA used to be like eight teams. So there were only a hundred, give or take, guys who were professional basketball players. And most of them are in the Hall of Fame <laughs> because they were the only guys who were good right. at basketball. Now there's 32 teams or something like that. So there are 570 guys. They're nowhere near as good as the original 18 guys. Really? How could they be? It's just if you, it's like the first uh, batch, that's where all the quality is. And then in basketball? Yeah. I mean, in anything, in anything that expands, it's just going to dilute it. So the know. quality of people take... is being diluted by the number of people having kids. Like, what are the odds most of these people are going to have quality kids? It's you take a zero, two zero person, zero plus zero equals a zero, <laughs> equals a negative one in a lot of cases. I get what you're saying. The sports reference, though, if you look at a lot of different sports, mm -hmm. for example, gymnastics, what they were doing in the 50s was oh, would no, no, get no. you nothing. Don't, I don't get, get me wrong. You, I'm not yeah. saying that any of those guys could compete. What oh, I'm saying that's is what I thought you were they saying. were all great at basketball. Yes. And now... Oh, you're saying the percentage of how many people are good. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So there's still the same percentage of guys that are great, but there's 500 guys in the right. league. Uh, there's, you know, it's still like the... the there's still like the, the all-star team and the all-decade mm -hmm. the all -decade team that our friend was on. Hey. Uh, but... Uh, but there's, we're just getting the humanity's watered down and there's just a lot of garbage and a lot of just garbage people that just shitty, poorly made, poorly constructed, bad brains, bad, they're ugly. They got bad <laughs> brains. None of them, they all had glasses. These are defective people. My eyes are defective. Full stop. Everything else. Everything else. Tip top. Guild. Um, what scares me is that I just feel like we are going to have to live in a very unsafe world in the future. Everything is going to be regulated in terms of safety. Do you what do you mean? mean? Are, when you're contradicting yourself, if you say we're going to live in an unsafe world and everything's going Meaning to Meaning everyone's going to be so afraid of each other. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas I, now, it's I, like, you know, I mean, let's take the store. I don't want to give anybody ideas, but it's like there's yeah. a bunch of people in the store and there's no... Like, I don't think of it. I don't think of it at all. But I feel like in the future, when we gather in big groups of people, it's going to be way on, on our minds that someone can just light this place up. Anyone can light. A, JFK said that, apparently. He's like, you cannot stop a lone gunman. You can't. There's nothing. A, 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 yeah, no, one, a solo person who's determined to kill somebody, you cannot stop. Um, no, you can't stop him. But we have this imaginary safety blanket around There's an agreement, us. hey, don't shoot each yeah, other. Yeah, don't kill each other. Yeah. let's. We don't want to live in the wild anymore. We want to go into yes. society. So there's some agreements. Yes. It's One not lawless. Fucking don't shoot people. Please don't kill me. Yeah. Um, but there's this imaginary safety blanket we all have where no one's going to run up to me and just punch me randomly on the street. But yes. if that happens, that will change my entire worldview. And if that happens to enough people... I feel like we would make laws yeah. to prevent that. Maybe make sure like, yeah, you can't walk on the street. I don't know. But once that safety blanket is taken away from us, when we realize we can all just kill each other. The, it's also the, 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 not only are the people diluted, institutions are diluted. Yeah. Because it used to be, as people go, uh, you know, religion caused more wars than, than any, whatever, than any other ideology. It's also stopped a lot of shit like that. Yeah. It's also stopped people like guilt. Don't underestimate guilt. Don't underestimate <laughs> Catholic guilt yeah. <laughs> in keeping you from like, I can't, the Virgin Mary won't let I you. I won't know, get just into that heaven. Dumb superstition that I think prevents a lot of shit. I, yeah. I also agree that like the Inquisition wasn't cool, <laughs> but. Uh, Not cool. But. Uh, so that's diluted. There's the government's uh, bought and paid for. The, there's just no reliable institutions anymore, and there's nothing to keep people. Everyone's isolated. Yeah, and that's not good for you know anything. And the I read last night the kid in Dayton had like a hit list in high school yeah. and, and a, a rape, rape list. list. And look, like, I get a rape list. <laughs> 
But guy. Don't drink um, around him. And you'll yeah. feel creeped out. <laughs> um, you know what's interesting is that we used to call white people who committed mass murder or mass attacks, we used to call them terrorists. Like Ted Kaczynski was called a terrorist. Yeah. Well, that was before 9-11. Yeah. That's before we came to realize what a terrorist was, <laughs> which was like Ted Kaczynski. Same beard, but... Um, a little browner. But a little browner. A little and browner. In the name of Allah. Yes, so, in a different name. Yes, they're all in the name. Well, there's so little difference between uh, conservative Christians and conservative Muslims. There's almost no difference. There's the same. They just want the same. All the people thing. that say like they're just rooting for a different team. Yeah, yes, and they're, they're and at you the know same me. I game. actually believe in that kind of war. <laughs> yeah, you're. Like, but don't yeah. act like you know all the the abortion, not having abortions, uh, uh, preventing shutting down abortion clinics is Sharia law. It's the same thing. If they it's all the same ended thing. up in the same... Why does your religion have to be the rule of the land? Yeah. Why, why not just... You choose that. I'm going to choose something else because I'm not part of your religion. No, but it's... have you heard about it? Have you heard the good news? Yeah, I heard it a bunch of times. <laughs> I heard it a bunch of times. It's not... It's fine. It wasn't that good to me. It was The news was fine. The interesting thing is this institutionalized racism, I don't know, prejudice against Muslim terrorists is is fueling these white or these domestic terror attacks. For example, the FBI has a lot more resources to combat um, yeah, Islamic they, fundamentalists yeah, they, they than can, they do they can white infiltrate, supremacists. Yeah, they can infiltrate all the ISIS recruiting websites. Meanwhile, 8chan is running smoothly. No, me and my brother told you, we used to be on these white supremacist boards cracking up, yeah. and they're talking crazy. Yeah. They're not just kumbaya we don't like black people can you no. stay over there it's pretty violent also they can track child pornography pretty well yeah. but somehow all this violent white supremacist yeah. sort of online activity it's like you know, how i gotta do you say it's it? funny when america tells on itself again where it's just like like they, there was a guy in cnn who was like this is us yeah you see her on msnbc he was a he's a journalist uh, and he was like, black dude, he was like, this is us. This Don't stop saying this isn't us. It is us no, from the beginning. He's like, it's not, you know, the the. I think Cornell West said on Rogan, like, it's not, they say slavery is the original sin in America. It's not, that's not the original sin. The original sin is 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 uh, colonialism yeah. and, and fucking up Native Americans. Like, that's the original sin. And then, and then we're like, what else? What else? Okay, you. <laughs> I, you want to take a trip? You want to let's come take a trip. Um, uh, the I've been trying to write a joke about how America loves saying we're a nation of you know our founding fathers and we fought the British and we and they and then someone goes how about reverence for slavery and they're like that wasn't us. that no. was a long time ago <laughs> we don't even know those after. guys <laughs> yeah it's a hundred years after the founding fathers that what that's so long ago why even bring that up it was like um, four people ago yeah um so it's sad and i have no solutions although i know if i tried harder it could end i'm just hoping that it someone doesn't will do hurt it. me or someone i know I have been to that place in Dayton. It's near where Dave lives. Well, you guys, especially for comedians, you guys do these big theaters, these packed yeah. public spaces. Yeah. I remember some... There was I a, remember after the Bataclan, the, the French, the ISIS French one. Oh, yeah? The, I remember doing a joke and it kind of worked. It, it, was, it worked, but it was like, huh. Yeah. I was like, I'd feel bad if someone came in and opened fire. I'd feel bad that I was your last show. <laughs> When Burr is going to be here tomorrow night, <laughs> right, and I'm the last on. show you see. Fuck, I'm so sorry, you guys. You deserve better. It was funny. I was at the airport a few years ago, and everyone started screaming and running, and I was like, "Oh shit, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a domestic terror situation." Yeah. And there was a rat just uh, like running, and so there was a lady like, "Get out!" Like a little Filipino lady. And I just thought to myself, the first thought I had was, "Some there's a gunman." Yeah. That's probably not the first thought someone else has in a different country. No, they think rats. They think rats. <laughs> they think it's uh, the rats on here. <laughs> no, they don't think that in another country. And 
people were canceling the New York Times because they had a or they were yelling that they were going to cancel the New York Times because they had a headline saying Trump speaks for uh, unity versus racism, which hmm. is like, huh? and everyone was like, that's not what that speech was. That speech was a guy who's been fomenting racism. It was the first time yesterday where I actually thought about what a piece of shit Trump is. It, yeah. It's so odd that there's a president who talks the way he does. It's so fucking weird that there's an American president. He his his inaugural speech was called American Carnage. <laughs> Literally, that what? was the title of the speech when at the inaugural address. American Carnage. American Carnage. <laughs> you see it everywhere. It's like it's so insane it's and then weird. you see that there actually is a yeah, there is a, a downstream there's a severe consequences for people yeah. like the people who got killed and especially El Paso I wonder if any of the people who have been affected just were even in the city or physically affected that were Trump supporters I wonder if they I connected there's some. I bet I, there's some especially in El Paso I know a lot of people a lot of people on the side were like, it, he's the president. He didn't do this. You know, yeah. there's a lot of that argument. Yeah. And I'm wondering how close are people connecting the dots? Pretty closely. It's yeah. the, the news is, I think people like the mayor of El Paso was like, don't come. We're good. Yeah. Uh, but now having said that, the kid in um, Dayton had Antifa. He liked Antifa tweets. Right. And he liked Bernie tweets and Elizabeth Warren tweets. Um, I would argue that shooting people up isn't a part of their platform. <laughs> right. And not like it's part of Trump's platform either, but it's way right. closer to Trump's <laughs> platform by saying that uh, there's a Mexican invasion. Everything's infested invasion. It's we're in and they're invading. It's like it's all this in group out group shit. Yeah. That's just fucking it's it's pretty bleak. One yeah, giveaway. One thing, I, I'm not gonna say I like about Trump, but one thing that is good, at least for me, about Trump's presidency as, is no one. And I heard this so much. No one can say America is not a racist country anymore. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are like oh, mm -hmm. it's like really though, like it's improved. Life is better for. It. No one can hide anymore. America is less racist. Than it was 200 years ago. Yeah. 260. We're always 30. We're even. always it's less, less racist. racist. But, but that's like, it's not, it's still growing. It still has like, you know, when a kid in grade school has like, needs to take steroids, he has like growth issues. Right. He has pituitary issues or whatever. <laughs> America has racial pituitary issues we where it just can't freaky. get around it. Just arrested we, development yes, over here yes we cannot get around we can't it's such a huge issue that no one talks about other than us we uh, yeah we are the no the i don't understand pioneers. when people go like i'm obsessed with race i'm like how can you not be i don't understand how you cannot how you can look at the american landscape and not think that's the biggest issue or at least in the top three I, I don't see how you cannot talk about it. Yeah, it's why we started um, this podcast. So that's why we and for only and for only that reason. <laughs>